tuning in. Good to see you. Happy you're here. If you haven't, join the Discord, Reddit, Patreon. Then check it out. We just did a Trevor Noah's stand-up special. Oh, yeah. Um, we did Trevor Noah, and it's a woke nonsense. It's very bad. <laughs> yeah. But check it out if you're interested in hearing what we really think about it. I call them Trevor Noha. That was good. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I laughed dude. at that. It took me a second to get it, but once mm-hmm. I got it, I was like, different. Yeah. So I enjoyed it. Trevor No Laughs. That really is what it is. It's uh, it's a lot of speeches, mm-hmm. you know, and then clapped. Or we counted off the amount of times where the audience would clap instead of laughing, and it was a lot. We're not numbers guys, no, but uh, we did count it. It was quite a bit. But yeah, dude, yeah. that's not why they're here, though. No, dude. no, no. You're right. Thanks for bringing that up. That is not why you're here. You're here to watch ten minutes of shop. So play the chin clip. Start the timer now. All right, so we got a light week at Chang's, dude. But we're gonna check out uh, the new Elephant Graveyard drop day. Oh yeah, one of our guys. We don't have to watch the whole thing, but I believe the beginning is fucking Netflix, dude. The whole thing is pretty Netflix. Yeah, some would say the most Netflix. It's called uh, The Last Gra- Glass Gasps of the Redacted, dude. Let's mm. see here. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. We caught this over line off a jetty in Marina Del Rey. And no joke, we saw trash bags floating by. We saw... A used condom, a giant used condom <laughs> that just floated right, right by us. And I froze this for a couple days and I thawed it out for two and a half days, not three days. Probably. <laughs> the question of free will touches nearly everything we care about. <laughs> Most of what is distinctly human about our lives seems to depend upon our viewing one another as autonomous persons capable of free choice. <laughs> but free will is an illusion. Our wills are simply not of our own making. Thoughts and intentions emerge from background causes of which we are unaware and over which we exert no conscious control. (laughs) Don't you ever wonder why you are what you are? Do you ever wonder why you are what you are, dude? Uh, Yeah, yeah. And from time to time, you always have to ask, what am I doing here? You right? I think it's this looks like me. Right here. <laughs> this is looks like a shot of me as an old man. But let me ask you: Do you ever wonder what uh, the question that uh, uh, I can't remember the words for? I mean, honestly, I believe I know who I am, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm that Latino that talked too much, dude. Yeah, I would say you're a hawk. Yeah, you know, above all else. Yeah, but yeah, no, that's that's a good. What I am, I coming, would say, coming from a man in a green shirt. That's right. Wor- yeah, world duck. record pot. <laughs> ever heard of it? I'm wearing the colors of a duck, but yes. actually a, a hawk shirt. Oh, okay. It's a Walsh. You're a, you're a duck in sheep's clothing. Or a, duck a hawk and duck. Okay. A duck in hawk's clothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, sorry, we'll sorry. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, what am I? I don't matter. I didn't count. Oh, right? that's, what, that's, that's the saying. answer to answer all, dude. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, don't you ever just look around at your life and think, that's what the, the hell even the is The guy before. This? The suit guy. That's not, the, it looks like Dalia. That's how I see You ever Doesn't just he? look around at your life see? and think, Oh, that looks like that's, that's you in fully form. Realized, dude. Suit, Never. kingpin, big <laughs> office. Thinking about what's next for Timos. That's the hostage room in the future. <laughs> Think, what See, the hell I'm even is any of this shit? How did I actually get here? What the hell am I even doing? For instance, how does one become a stand-up comedian? 
Well, you must first be born with an intact nervous system and then provided with a proper education. No freedom there. And at some point, you must decide... Flappers, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Is T-E-G reaching out? Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> to become... That's amazing. Yeah. When I first saw this, I was like, flapper. We have to watch this. I love show, this dude. guy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Elephant Graveyard, one of our best, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm a comedian. A result, presumably, of first <laughs> wanting to become one. I don't know who oh, this is. Where does that me. want arise? <laughs> Not from you, yeah, I mean, but from the result. Yeah, that's, that's, it's, we all have embarrassing videos of us online. So, I mean, I don't have anything with my shirt off humping another guy, but, you know, I got some pretty bad stuff out there somewhere, so. Mm, all right. <laughs> yeah, look for it. Yeah, go ahead. Look I'm not going to comment on that. Combination of events and forces that you will never understand. To become a comedian, you must also have the talent for the job and develop the best <laughs> oh, brains for the art. Becoming a comic requires effort. You must do many things deliberately and well and in the appropriate <laughs> sequence year after year. We watched but that on Patreon. The- yeah, we watched this one. Honestly, without the verbiage, it looks like it's a fun time. But then when you, when you hear what she's saying, you're just like... No, yeah. I mean, it off. depends. Whether you like the visuals or not, the content is not good. No, it is not king. Audio no. in this situation is even worse than the, the visual. You know how many jokes I write where... I'm visualizing that, and I'm like, I'm not going to do that on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a lot? For you? You'd be you're, surprised, okay, dude. You're a physical guy. You work the, you work the stage. <laughs> Conscious source of this wanting, will you be responsible for its prevailing over all the other things you want? No. If you succeed at becoming a comedian, you will suddenly one day find yourself standing on stage microphone in hand (laughs) at the confluence of all the genetic and environmental causes that led you to develop along this line. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, (laughs) is a progressive brain disorder caused by repeated head injuries that leads to cognitive decline, including impaired decision making, unstable impulsive behavior, drug and alcohol addiction, memory loss, and problems planning when carrying out tasks. CTE (laughs) symptoms can appear at any time following traumatic brain injury. And the condition. Funny is if, like, um, when you got CTE, some version of that song comes on where it's like, man up, man up, man up, man up, man up. Like you get hit enough that oh, that just, yeah. you know, that's, that's the alert. There's some sort of alert for it. It's like, man up, man up, man up, man up. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shab definitely has it. I'm, I worry about the drug stuff and the alcohol. I hope he's, he I has know. some kind of handler that's like, you know, hey. Yeah. I guess some, he must have something though because he's thinking about it. He keeps Ugh. saying that nicotine helps his brain. I don't know if that's true, but we'll, we'll see, dude. <laughs> only worsens over time, eventually leading to a full-on detachment from reality. <laughs> we do not have the freedom we think we have. Just as within a circuit, an electron follows the path of least resistance, so too do human beings. And there's no telling where you'll end up. Rising guy, four four nine, Quebec X Ray. Just take off? Yeah. And you're not supposed to be on that aircraft? Uh, no. But what's going on? Are you flying the plane? Yeah. Usually these patterns. What? I think that's from the thing where the guy stole the plane. Okay. Right? I had never heard the audio before, though. That's hilarious. Also scary. <laughs> Dude, Elephant Graveyard's amazing. This yeah, is- he's pulling stuff from out of the, the uh, zeitgeist. Ever heard of it? <laughs> stable. Things go about doing what they ought to. There's a moment where it changes. So. But the universe, given its infinite vastness, sometimes manifests into reality what we call karmic mutations. Coincidental waves of cause and effect that lead to circumstances that appear to make no rational sense. <laughs> yeah, so you hijacked the plane, is what you're saying? Uh, yeah, I'm doing kind of a bad thing, kind of a selfish thing. Just a broken guy, got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it until now. This isn't a sad thing. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't even know it was from that. Is that what it's from? What? Wait, I'm, I don't know that he did audio for it. 
For, it just like they'd be crazy if the guy who stole the plane said this is not a sad thing and Schaub said it on Showtime. Maybe he said this isn't a sad. I don't know. That'd I, be a wild coincidence. That's why it would be in the video though. I'm just here for the good time, Danny. Yeah, true, true. Alvin, call tonight. How we doing, my man? Another shot for the road? No, I probably shouldn't, man. I'm shooting my first comedy special tonight. How long you been doing it? Three years. Suppose your hero and mentor insisted to you that you should become a stand-up comedian. He's so short, <laughs> dude. He's so short. <laughs> oh, my God. That guy in the purple is 5'5". Five five. <laughs> Isn't that wild? <laughs> And so you do it. Oh, sorry, what did you say? I, he looks like a... If that's true and not edited at all, he looks like a hobbit. <laughs> is that your own conscious choice? Or have you just been persuaded? And would he then be responsible for whatever terrible fate <laughs> would surely await you in that pursuit? Ladies and gentlemen, from the Fighter and the Kid podcast and below the belt on Showtime, give it up for the great and powerful Fist of Brandon Show. I mean, come on, look at this. This doesn't make any sense. Look at him. Stop deluding yourself. These mutations are inherently unstable. Eventually, the great cosmic gardener, who goes by many names and takes on many forms, comes along to pluck the anomaly the out of existence. Don't be such a fucking They get to this spot where you know, everyone knows there's something wrong, and no one says anything. You see the deterioration, and no one steps in, and then I talk to him alone, man. There's something has to be done. Like, now. You've got to get out of it. Anyone can do comedy. You just, you might not be able to. Like, you, look, you might not have it in you. How many fucking professional stand-ups are there? There's only like a thousand of us on Earth. There's so fucking few. What do you want, the art form to die yeah. off? You gotta stop. Job is quit touring. Shrub retired from comedy. Yeah, I had to cancel Austin and Nashville. Usually I hate doing that. I think this time I just don't care. You had so many possibilities. You know, I have a weird relationship with uh, social media and that stuff. A lot of negativity. We're starting to flourish. You're hilarious on podcasts. What, you know, that could just, I can't do it anymore. I'm tired, man. Oh my god, dude, this is so much. This is insane. It's an anthology, dude. He really, I mean, he put in the work. I can't talk. He's a director, but yeah. you ever heard of it? Oh yeah. All faith in social media viewers now. Oopsie. Persuaded again. We do not have the freedom we think we have. Take, for example, Charles Whitman, an unassuming man with no history of violence who suddenly, one day in 1969, <laughs> climbed to the top of the clock tower at University of Texas Austin campus. Charles Austin. spent 90 minutes indiscriminately firing upon the helpless campus crowd, killed 17 people, and wounded 31 before being felled by a shotgun blast to the head from a police officer. His autopsy revealed a significant brain tumor that had been pressing on his amygdala, the part of the brain responsible for... Amygdala? What is that? Like your mandula oblongata with sauce on it, dude? <laughs> Probably, dude. Probably. Medulla oblongata. We, know, we only know that... Pro you know that because of the Adam Sandler movie, right? Uh, the, the medulla oblongata. Probably, yeah. The, which, the, the water boy. That's the only time I've ever heard that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anxiety and the fight or flight reflex. You murdered harder than I've ever seen Whoopsie. you killed before. No freedom. It's like Again. a different person. <clears throat> I was surrounded by you, Callan, Bert, Tom. I wanted to be in that party. I was I was so fortunate. I get the stars aligned for me. I didn't realize at the moment that that was the golden age. We took it for granted. Those days are over, man. And it's heartbreaking. What did you do? The direction you took. Holmes, Swami, Snake Man. All feeding at the same time. Whose idea? Who made that? Yeah, I had to cancel Austin and Nashville. Usually, I hate doing that. I think this time I just don't care. When you quit, you you have to find meaning in your life. Like, what did, what are you good at now? Just focus on family. Do my thing. I wonder, Unexpected problems. Like Shab, Shab may. I wonder if he has the worst medulla oblongata and amygdala in all of comedy. Right? Like the lowest functioning. I don't know what those things do. But I imagine he has the most low. Maybe Bert has similar to that. Yeah. But um, Chobbs, I we it would be interesting to know what part of Chobbs' brain isn't working. Like yeah. which one? Which like left side, right side, all of it? Well, I'll tell you, he's got a really strong gluteus maximus. Oh, okay, yeah, because he's, yeah. he's an athlete. Yeah, his hamstrings are not as strong. Mm, Remember, no. he blew that out. He blew that out. He's a comedian. 
People don't respect Shop enough. He's doing this without a Medulla Bongata. Without a Chappellius Lacius. <laughs> yeah, without a Chappellius. <laughs> <laughs> what part of the body is the Chappellius Lacius? The woke part. Dude. The woke, okay, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I dude. like it. I would have. T- I would have accepted eight inches as well. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else? Sorry, I had to no, say. No, 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 no. I, I, oh, I like the Chipotle <laughs> slices, man. I don't think I can top that. Yeah. Good. Good. Get startled. Don't get frustrated. <laughs> get up. Dust off. Recalibrate. Re-engage. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and go Good. out and attack. Good. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Brendan Schaub. Welcome to the channel. This is Toontown. Oh, for fuck's sake. You gotta like the page. Subscribe to the page. Also, email right here. When are you stopping this, Brendan? Toontown. What if he did a thing where he was like, "What's up, guys? I'm at Cedar Sinai. I'm with this. Uh, what are what are brain neural? I'm with neurologist Doctor Smith. He's gonna KB tech my brain. You know, he's gonna get in there and like see what's wrong with it and everything. So the times a week. It cuts to the doctor and he's like, "It's worse than I thought, dude." <laughs> the doctor's doing like a goodwill hunting math thing, you know, trying to figure out what to do. That'd be dope. He should do that. Oh man. So like, subscribe in the comment section. Seriously, what are you doing? In town? Let us know what you want to see. This has to be some brilliant Kaufman-esque bit. What happened to building fish tanks? What do you want to see? Let us know. Why don't you just show me something? Isn't that how it's supposed to work? What made you go and be like, all right, I'm going to bomb forever? Uh, well, bomb forever is interesting. Dude, dude, I think it was a Latina, bro. You know why? Because they're fun and they're nice, right? Now, you know, now that you're out, you, you see it, right? The ego that I had at the time, that ego's insane. Oh, no, really, dude? My girl's grandma died. Stage four pancreatic cancer. You know, what are you going to do? I pumped her full of CBD. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember that one. That's amazing. She was like, I'm sick. I'm in with- pain. I was like, try happy hippo. Yeah. We got yeah. her. We got Kratom inside of her. She didn't make it, but she loved it. <laughs> I Kratomed her out, dude. I was like, what are you doing, mama? <laughs> try magic mind because it's fun. It's spicy. Get some suspension in you. <laughs> Keep it detected. <laughs> Last night, good cool. game set match. <laughs> did you did you do that good? No, no, that was. Oh it. my god, I'm yeah. like, that was a good good dude. Yeah, that would have been the yeah. Like my grandma's sick, and you know she's very or my my girl's grandma's very sick, and I said good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, Grim Reaper came knocking on the door in Chicago. That's the circle of life. You're out. Good. Charles left a note saying, quote, I don't really understand myself these days. I am supposed to be an average, reasonable, and intelligent young man. However, lately, I have been a victim of many unusual and irrational thoughts. These thoughts constantly recur. You never see a bald Native American. That's a legit That's point. You know, yeah, the only true. time you see them bald is they get scalped. You feel me? Comedy's uh, just different. It's just I've seen a lot of bald Native Americans. You've seen a lot of, no, you've seen a lot of bald Indians. What are you doing? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he thought Chappelle Lacey was confusing Indian people and natives? I don't know, dude. <laughs> After my death, I wish that an autopsy would be performed on me to see if there is any visible physical disorder. I told you to take care of your wife. What did I say? See in those pictures. Remember? Oh, yeah. It's public. What do you do? Suppose you felt inadequate your entire life, restless, knowing you're repulsive and without value. Disgusting. And all you wanted was to be liked. Suddenly you stumble upon a neat little trick that gets people to want to be around you. The downside is that trick will slowly kill you over time. Would you follow that instinct all the way to your own grave? Of course you would. Not your choice, though. Oopsie. Rest in peace. Suppose you were born into immense wealth, but on the outside you look like a disgusting cringe slob who nobody respects. Oh, that's bad. Would you cope with the rejection of the world by convincing yourself you are actually better than everyone else because you've got that lovely trust fund? A wonderful fund. And if you finally manage to build up the admiration of the public, you sabotage your own success by hanging on to that old cope and eventually being exposed as so, a toxic person. It's kind of like a cautionary tale for a lot of this stuff, right? 
Is this stuff, I mean, we don't matter and don't count, so we don't really have to think about it yet, right? No. Is it sinking in with you, these messages, or what are you thinking? Yeah, no, this is making me, uh, this is a really well done documentary. I mean, yeah. obviously, it this, the you know, if there was a genre for this, it'd be painted narrative. Because he's, <laughs> but the way he's painting it, dude, I'm like, wow, it all makes sense, you know? The music and AI voice are very um, cool. This it, is like a new, I don't know if other, if there's other things like this, but I, I like the way he does these things. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Let's finish it off yeah. and we'll talk. And then losing it all. Fuck! Rest in peace. Just another oops. <laughs> Let's go. Right? Yeah. If, for example, a boy was denied love and affection as a child and instead received frequent allegations of homosexuality <laughs> from his violent father, <laughs> Joe knows he's sweet and he's got sugar in his head. would that lead him to a lifetime of trying to reconcile his manhood, an unhinged addiction to extreme <laughs> exercise, hormone replacement therapy, becoming a male to male trans man, desperate for the external validation? Male to male trans man, dude. <laughs> Whoa. That's, that's <laughs> This is funny. insane. Was this guy a stand-up comic? Dude? Is he know, one of the thousand, dude? dude? Wow. Nations of other men. Mom really should have bought those steaks. Only to transform his own body into a grotesque monstrosity. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't be a no. And becoming an icon to a legion of unfuckable losers, even more desperate for a father figure than he is. <laughs> What's sadder when you run into a guy who used to do comedy? Like, you don't do comedy anymore? Sad, run into right? guys and, like, they, you don't do comedy no, anymore? No, producer now, or no, dude, I'm just like, I'm, yeah, I'm not quitting. I, ju I just... You don't do comedy I'm anymore? Just, I'm not going to... <laughs> Of Toronto, I'm not going to these really really sad. Sad. Especially if they had at least one good set. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, I'm not going to these ghosts. Could have figured. Or maybe even a special <laughs> or two. Yeah. Yeah. There's a long life we got. We're going to do this forever? Ah. I've said next week. Jim, did you ever hear me say quit comedy? No. 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 I just juggle a million things. What no. happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I lost. You don't do flappers anymore? Uh, just kind of lightheaded, dizzy. Uh, man, and you know, the sights went by so fast. Too. I was thinking, like, I'm going to have this moment of serenity, you know, I'll be able to take all, in all the sights. Uh, There's a lot of pretty stuff, but uh, I think they're prettier in a different context. Well, Shab definitely cannot steal an airplane. We don't have to worry about that. Oh, man. That was fucking deep, dude. Airplanes are like TRXs of the sky. Shout out to Elephant Graveyard. I know he's always on our channel. Yeah, we, so we see him in the chats for, from time to time. Appreciate that. Dude, that was solid as fuck, dude. Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah. Thank him. I will say, though, that, uh, you know, they're, they are the fucking monsters of comedy, right? Who? And not in like a I'm scared of monsters way. It's like they're mm -hmm. the titans of comedy of this industry. Right. These three, four, or three. Because they're in the closet? B yeah. Mm -hmm. Bert, Tom, and Joe, you know? Yeah. And they do their thing for their fans, dude. They do their thing for their audience. You know what I mean? Right. Poor Osos, Alpha Brain, all yeah. these things that you need to survive. Kratom. Uh, yeah. Kratom. Yeah. They... The people will sleep on like all the all that they've given, right? Yeah. Just be, yeah. I mean, and not only do you, as a fan of them, do you get access to all these like really helpful things in your life, but there's also always a promo code. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe 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 you didn't even know that a wood grill was something you needed, and mm -hmm. then Traeger Grill. Joe talks about it. Now you got steaks that are cooked on a wood grill. Would you have had that without Joe Rogan? I don't think so. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, what it comments more to me, uh, that whole thing is yeah. just that they do treat, I don't know, they, they, they're just, they, they embrace the idiots, basically, I think. I don't know, if what is the right taste to have in comedy? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's a very subjective art. I mean, I, well, for them, you're asking me seriously, I would say eight inches. No. Right. If you're asking me seriously, um, I think that for the most part, yeah, they seem to embrace their fans. Yeah. I've from like, I don't really watch a lot of it, but Joe Rogan is a fun watch most of the time. And I've, I haven't watched Tom Segura's podcast, but he was good at stand up, and, uh, they, they like, you know, they like selling and talking They're well, they like uh, doing shows for their fans. They don't seem like bad people. Yeah. Or mean people or anything like that. I will say that them getting on the CJ Stroud interview, that, that, part, that stuff, that shit is fucking, that we can say we never need that. No, that was a, that was a, uh, 
a misfire for sure. And yeah. trying like it obviously it was cringe to watch, but just trying to get new audience. It's like, nah, live with what you got for now. Cause you guys are fucking, it's just, I don't know if that you, everything you is gross. You don't really know what's going to happen until you do it. And that was mm-hmm. a situation where, you know how Brendan, he just goes Tom and Bert, they just went and uh, t- it ended up being that two drunken old dudes waving a bottle of alcohol next to a bunch of football players on the McAfee show or whatever it's called. Not a good idea. No. It didn't end up being the comedic hit that they thought it would be. But, you know, they just went. Sometimes it doesn't, uh, when you bet on yourself, it doesn't work out. It just sucks that there's only a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this one is a posted by Don't Know Who to Axe. It's uh, eggplant, 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 WWDH with the the, the C clamps emoji. <laughs> And yeah, let's get back to the show, dude. There's only one way to start this off. Let's go. Take your pants off. We have to look at it. Take my. Take them no. off. We don't have time. <laughs> Watch get them out. All right, Watch there you go. Right, tidy one. All right, Watch there you go. We must have a small dick. <laughs> <laughs> Smallest dick I've ever seen on a man. <laughs> <laughs> it has a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go in. Why are you gay? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Man, I fucking hate that kind of humor. God. That is the worst. Yeah. That's almost worse. That is worse than Schultz. I'd rather watch Schultz do like, hey, there's levels to this shit, okay? <laughs> than that shit. <laughs> Fuck. Wow, dude, that was that was aggressive. That was aggressive. Yeah, what are, is he sucking his dick? I think that's what he's going for. Is the bit is like he got bit in the dick by a snake or something? And oh, I've not seen this. I'm just yeah. guessing. You're the best brains, dude. I, it's it's sad that my brain can go there. Like I immediately yeah. know what they did. There's one person that could turn this all around, though. What's that? Eight inches. No, <laughs> uh, Jordan Peterson comes on the show. Just talks him, <laughs> sends him to them, dude. You should make your bet. Have a daughter with plastic surgery. And where are my Benzos? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think all day today how to shoehorn. Hey, where are my Benzos? Uh, <laughs> all right, so here we go. We got a post by Winder Mir fan. Uh, if I said that wrong, sorry. Mm-hmm. It's called Anthony Justin tells story about Brendan always giving him advice and having to put him in his place. Oh yeah, I've seen this one. We yeah. make a cameo in this one, dude. Yeah, I forget. <laughs> you um, you don't care. If people don't like you. You've just never cared. I try to do things, and if I'm going to be mean, I try to do it in a very concise <laughs> way that it's like... They got a Bobby Lee thing, too. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> Best That's brains. funny. That's so funny. I wonder if it was there before we... Probably. Probably, yeah. We are not... We don't matter. We don't yeah, matter. yeah. I'm yeah. saying... I wonder, they would think we're copying them or something Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Trash Tuesdays, shout yeah, out. No, we're just fans. Yeah, best fans. You kind of have to laugh and respect it, but I'm not... I've said some, like, really mean stuff, but it's like, you. I've got to give you some rope, mm-hmm. you know? It was a comic who just kept giving me advice. This is like a couple months ago. Just kept being like, oh, you should do this as a podcast. You should do this. And I'm like trying to be polite for as long as I can. Mm. And finally, I'm like, if I need more career advice, I'll let you know. And the room laughed. And the guy was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah you're, you're right. I'm sorry. And everyone was like, that was really funny. I'm like, I didn't, I wasn't trying to be mean, but he like didn't give me any choice. Yeah. I saw him in Anthony Jessel's <laughs> talk before uh, a show one time in the green room. And he had referenced a time before when he was like trying to like give Anthony Jessel like advice and it was in front of other people and he kind of framed it as like oh yeah Anthony snapped at me but I'm like well yeah you were trying to like he's one of the greatest living comics <laughs> you know what I mean like yeah, he's a special comic, yeah. crush like like yeah. and he's also like he's kind of got this mystique where like he doesn't even need to use Instagram or social media it's yeah. like you know like yeah. when Anthony Jessel like drops a special like I'm watching it yeah. you know yeah, yeah. Um, and I've seen him perform enough times where like he's just, he, you obviously know it's like he's all about comedy and doesn't give a Book and um, <laughs> we know what else he says, but yeah, 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 that's that was legit, dude. Yeah, man, that was a good. Uh, we got the scoop there. It's like our, we're journalists. I will say that was a long time ago, dude. I know. When was that? Do you remember? First of all, know. we were we had the fucking mic stands in our legs, dude. Oh right, pause. God, that was yeah. a long time ago. And yeah. then also we had the signs. Pause. You know what I mean? I like how we set up the fern there. I wonder yeah. if people realize we spent some time trying to put. 
We were like debating whether we could have Marg hand us a drink through it. Oh, yes. Remember I bought, I, I talked about buying a plant? Yeah. Actually, is that the plant that I bought? No, that was the one that, that was, was in the, the studio. studio right? The one that you bought was very small. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. And then, I don't have the best brains. I we, think I didn't. I left it with, I was like, do you want this? Yeah, we gave it to whoever has it. Yeah, yeah. Like, we don't even know where that fern ended up. I, I'm pretty sure after the fact, it was like, hey, what do I do with this plant? I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember Brendan gave it to you. <laughs> and then it was like a. I didn't know issue. what to do with yeah. it. I was just Hilarious. leaving it on the street, dude. Uh, but yeah, anyway, shout out to Marg for coming through that one time. Let's see here. We got another post from uh, George uh, Nada. It's called Bapa is Stavi's North Star. Let's see what this is about here. What's going on with you? What are you eating? What's your little slutty treat? Huh? What was that? Yira? Yira? Is that are you? Are you? Yeah, I know. I, you didn't have to fucking. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm honestly a little offended that you. You know what? That's like. Are you Greek? Huh? Oh, he is Greek. Okay, all right. Because if you're just some regular guy, that's like when you go to a Mexican restaurant, and your dad's like, "We'll have the fajita." <laughs> I thought some fucking Philly trash was trying to give me the real Greek pronunciation. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, that that is going to be a bit forever because it's just a part of society. You know, there are people that are like Shab that are kind of blog boss off, you know, <laughs> and they want to do that. Ajitas, chili, yeah. <laughs> we just have to live with it. It's their world. We're just living in it. Yeah, dude. Speaking of which, I got my hair cut by an Asian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. This one's posted by Haphazard. It's called, If He's Here, Who's Making Stupid Faces While Other People Do the Work? So this is a fresh post 15 minutes ago, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah. Good morning. How is everybody? It is February 19th. It is 10 a.m. A little bit of a later start. Uh, it is torrential downpour here in Los <laughs> Angeles, and I had to drop my truck off, my lightning off at the tune shop <laughs> at Full Throttle Customs, and uh, we've been waiting for some parts, all this stuff. Today was the day. It's been a long time coming, and uh, here's the issue with that. That thing's on slicks, so when it rains, it's a bad combo, and it's <laughs> about an hour from my house, and you got to cut through the mountains. <laughs> so the guy goes, dude, in this rain... I know we're scheduled, but just come another day. I went, <laughs> you don't know me. I'll figure it out. So I left at 6.30 a.m. in the pouring rain and went about 30 miles an hour out down the highway. And there's nobody out because today's President's Day. And when you cut through the valley, it got dicey. I'm not going to lie to you guys. There was times where I was like, I'm a bona fide moron. But <laughs> made it. Your boy made it. Yep, that's right. Guy wasn't planning on it, but your boy made it. He made it. So... Hopefully they get it done. Hopefully they get it done. Uh, Brendan is the guy that tells you stories where you're like, he thinks it's funny, but you are thinking, what are you doing here? That is not safe. Don't do that. It's not funny. Should not be driving an hour in the mountains in the rain when you've already flipped your truck once. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> wait a day. The guy that you're giving business to told you to wait a day. He makes money from you bringing the truck in. And he said, no, no, no. Bring it in when it's not raining. Probably because he knows that you're on Kratom. And were, were you on any, was you on Magic Mind when you did this? Yeah. Is that your takeaway though? <laughs> yeah. I will tell you right now, dude, that he figures it out. He finds a way. <laughs> yeah. I right. Yeah. Yeah. He, he could have got a toad there. Oh, are you happy now, dude? <laughs> He's going to tow his truck in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's got slicks. He's not changing that. That's true. He's not Race slicks. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I don't like uh, the lightning. We watched that whole Toontown thing on uh, Patreon. Lightning kind of blockbuster. All right, so let's see here. This one's Astro Creep Scoo posted this one. It's called Shab Back to Hating on the UFC. Let's see here. That, this is where the UFC fucked up. And you can see it with their <laughs> with their the the placement of certain fights on UFC 300. UFC fucked up. They're they're too big. They're too fancy now. They're not paying attention to the details. And UFC 300 would show you this. They stack 298. They stack 299. And 300, which they should have been planned for a year ago, was a byproduct. And they're scrambling. They're scrambling to get things done. It showed Max Holloway, Justin Gaethje, 
makes no fucking sense. Nobody's asking for it. Everyone loves Max Holloway. He's probably going to get destroyed. We don't want to see it. We don't. What's it do for the division? It moves nobody forward. Everyone stays lukewarm on it. Max Holloway, by all means, should be the guy fighting Topiria next. That's a huge fucking feather in Topiria's cap. Okay. Max goes out there and gets so much brain damage from Justin, the murderer of Gaethje. That's out the window. So Max Holloway's not an option. Okay, so I guess we're going to do the winner of Yair Rodriguez, Brian Ortega. Yair in Spain, that makes sense. Spanish speaking. <laughs> we just saw Yair get absolutely destroyed by Volkanovsky. Okay. Max Holloway was the choice, but they didn't plan it out. They fucked up. Max Holloway's your choice. That should be the next guy. But he's, he's on UFC 300 fighting a fight that makes no sense for anybody. They panicked. They agreed to all these fights. And now, now they're going to pick that. <laughs> besides, besides that, um, I, don't, I don't know how to say it. Is it Tapuria? I don't know who that is. The, the, he just beat Volkanovski in the last UFC. Yeah. But it seemed like he was nailing the names. He named a lot of names there, so that's yeah. pretty good. Do you think that hat is like a? It looks like an Illuminati thing. Yeah, you know? he's trying, dude. He just wants to get he, in. He's yeah. like a little nervous. He's like, you know, the stuff's not going to well. I'm quitting stand up, but you know, I could. Work <laughs> I, I wasn't, but I like having money. Fake it till you make it, dude. Yeah, maybe he's going trying to get in the Illuminati. He's. I'll be in a little Nas X music video. I don't give a <laughs> fuck, dude. Yeah, he's like I'll do it. Don't put me in a room and make me suck my way out. <laughs> <laughs> or do, or do, yeah. <laughs> He, now, well, yeah, that's what he thinks the Illuminati is. You get in a room and you have to fuck your way out. That was the first uh, assignment. Like, the Illuminati just wanted to have fun, so they're like, all right, Brian Callen, act like you're going to suck his dick. <laughs> and then they're like, we'll not only do that, but we'll film it and put it online. That's the cr that, that thing was insane. <laughs> yeah. That was crazy as hell. Well, let's see uh, what else we got here, dude. This is Busy Middle 81808 called A Different Day, Same Bullshit. Let's see what this is about. I was 3-0, and told my friends. I tried putting 10K on Marab over Henry Cejudo, and they wouldn't <laughs> take my money. California law, laws, I guess. I don't know. My brother didn't have the money to help me out there. So I tried putting uh, 10K on Marab. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. He's, uh, it's a pretty wild, uh, pretty wild bet there. He is right, though. You can't bet live in California. Yeah. California for your lol. Because <laughs> it's against the law. Yeah. Yeah, any law, any lawyer will take a lawyer will tell you that. <laughs> you get the, the judicial system, dude. Yeah, don't get me started. Okay, ain't a joke. Ain't ain't no joke. No, nope. right? I mean, they will recall the DA in a minute. <laughs> right? Oops. <laughs> All right, this one's posted by PP Stains in the front. It's called the Hana Center is hard to get to, and remember the name of when you got get snubbed by Joseph for an invite to the event. Fuck, dude. And. And remember the name of when... What? Does that make sense or am I tripping? Um, the Honda <clears throat> Center is hard to get to and remember the name of when you get snubbed by Joseph for an invite to the event. And remember the name. I I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the clip will tell us. <laughs> Let's see. Did Shaw post this one? Too? <laughs> no, it's people's um, <laughs> But finally, the UFC season is here. The first big boy pay-per-view kicks off this freaking <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> it's a big one. It's in Orange County. So for those right, of you that huge. say, oh, it's a, it's a L.A. pay-per-view. This is not L.A. This is about, in traffic, you're in three hours, but about two hours. Conservative two hours to get to Orange County. <laughs> Your boy has fought at this arena twice. I fought Gabriel Gonzaga there. Gyro. It might have been once. Tusha uh, sure before that was Vegas. Regardless, I fought there. It's a great arena. <laughs> um, but it is at the Honda Center. I think it's still called the Honda Center. Mm -hmm, I think so. Heavy on the Honda. It's the center of Hondas. And yep. that is where Volkanovski and Topiria is going down. I want to call this fight no, so bad, I'm willing no, to go no, back to California. <laughs> what, is it Honda Center? Yeah, Eddie, do you want to come to this? Let's do it. What's the day? Um, I'm doing commentary. It's in February. Seven, yeah, 16th and 17th of February. Of February? Ah. 16th Edgy and bad. 17th? Yes, sir. Come on, son. You ain't got nothing better to do. I might even go to that one. Go oh, to I'm that one, I'm boy. Down, I'll be down to go <laughs> if you can make it, Eddie. I don't want to roll by myself and get fucking sniped out with some UFC hater. 
the mm. what? Mm. painted the narrative goes. Yeah, dude. This is a this is a light week at Chang's. Good morning, Lietnam. <laughs> Lietnam. I don't know. <laughs> that was just fun to do. Well, let's see if it gets any better from TFAT K clips, dude. This one's posted by Toronto Rapture. It says, uh, "LOL, imagine letting Brenda lecture you on how to get a how to be a good parent." B. Oh, for the for the cats out there with kids, make sure you tune into this one. Yes, keep in uh keep in the notes, dude. Yeah, dude, how to be a dad. Yeah, how to be a hawk. <laughs> I mean, and also like the it's the these you know age basically one to fourteen. You're never getting that back. <laughs> Can I do stand up to um? Uh, can I do it every weekend? Hundred percent. But I'm not missing games. I'm missing, you know. And I'm, I coach, up, I'm coaching as well. Yeah, I fucked. It's up. not worth it. I, I fucked. Say that. I would. Well, well no, I'm true. trying to make it right. But but you know, for the first, my daughter is one took all the shit. My daughter was 15 now. You know, I, I was I was gone. I was always on the road. I was trying to make my name, and I did real well. And I, you know, I, I made lots of money and all that shit. Yeah. And none of that matters. I was, I wasn't. I was on a TV show. None podcast. of that matters. I'm telling you, <laughs> none of them. Your kids it don't give a fuck. Of course it doesn't. What the, what the, the what they so care how about? Much, how much did when, I miss? When, I, yeah, missed, I missed all my kids. <laughs> I love that he doesn't let him finish, dude. He was gonna go on. He was gonna say what Shab is saying now, and Shab's like, "But it doesn't matter, though," as if Shab's like some wise genius. Callan is just a bad father. Imagine your dad dressed like that, though. Like, had the you're, you're like he's taking you to school, or maybe you get bad grades in your report card, and he's like, "Tiger, we gotta talk about this." Your report card, have a seat, and you look at him, and he has a button down that says "Donut" <laughs> on it. He's yeah. like, "These grades are no good." Okay, <laughs> when I tell you to do your homework, I'm gonna start watching to make sure you do it. Yeah, like you can't take him seriously. Now I dress crazy too, but I don't have kids. Well, I mean, my takeaway is like, imagine spending that much time having a bad relationship with your daughter and still sucking ass at stand up, dude. <laughs> yeah, you didn't really do that well. You seem you appear to be a man in debt with the decisions that you do. Like nobody who's doing well is going on to Crowder to be like vilified, <laughs> you know, to be Crowder's Crowder's fourth mic. Where he like shocks you when you talk too much. Yeah. He probably has like some weird thing that goes like this and slaps him if Crowder wants him to stop talking. He has to give speeches about apps from grifters. I not good. I, r- I would rather spend that time, not have a good relationship with my kid and then be good at stand up. It's just like <laughs> at the end of the day, if you're not even good at stand up, it's like, why did you do all that? How? Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, other people are able to do it. Jim Gaffigan's kid seemed to like him. He did pretty well for himself. He's not uh, on a promotion for Monectodon by Patrick Bet David. Well, he's also not is. talking about his regrets on earwaves, dude. This is no. like fucking sad, dude. Yeah, these guys are worried about talking to men on earwaves. What they should be worried about is talking about their regrets on earwaves. You're, filing a, fi- you're firing on all cinder. Also, just live with your choices. They're doing this because he's not doing stand up anymore. It's like, just don't do stand up anymore, dude. Dude, if there is a, you know that meme where it's like the brain's like, you're there's three oh, of them yeah, and one yeah. is like you're on the third one dude <laughs> right now you're fucking on this is you're on the third one okay i'm not a numbers guy but you're fucking these are good points i don't matter dude <laughs> let's see here <laughs> you're on the road and you missed the birthday i miss dude. everything dude Okay. I missed her birthday. I, missed <laughs> I don't give a fuck if I miss my kid's birthday, dude. <laughs> I'm on the road, <laughs> baby. Yeah. Let's go. San Antonio, get your fucking hands together. I could do we five or five minutes in the belly room and suck my dick. Not even, uh, did I miss it? I don't even know when they, where they happen. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me try that again. <laughs> what did you say? What did you mean to say? I meant to say, um, not only do I not know them, I don't even know when they are. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I, I don't mean. know who they are. They don't matter, dude. They don't matter. They didn't count. For fucking, you know, everything. And, and I'll never, I'll never live it down, but, but I'll make it right. You can I make got, it right. Being, being present now, yep. like being gone all the time, ain't the move. And I'll never remember. And I'll never remember. Never forget when I first started doing stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Ooh. And I, I, Kevin Nealon, we're at the airport and he goes, Oh, where are you at? I'm telling him. I'm like, yeah, next week I'm in Oklahoma. And the week after that, I'm in Palm beach. And he goes, you have kids? Oh yeah. He goes, Man, the disappointment on his face. Yeah. He was like, this ain't it, bud. It's not. He was like, this ain't it. But I want to make you two feel a little better. Like, my dad is a normal guy, normal Joe Schmo, owns mm-hmm. his own business, right? When I grew up, my dad works six, seven days a week. Yes. I didn't <laughs> see my dad often. Yeah. Okay? So, <laughs> please, like. Your, no, dad, right. your dad didn't have a choice. 
He didn't have a choice, right? We have because a choice. He had to provide for we have a choice. Yeah. But did you? Did, yes. You're trying no, I to didn't. provide for I, I, In a way, you're right. We didn't. But you we providing didn't. for in your a way, In a way, we, you know, it, this is a motherfucker, this gig. Let's be honest. You want to compete? Mm. You got to keep writing. Yeah. You got to come up with ideas. You're, you, let's be mm. honest. The, it's just a hustle. But it's a hustle. And it's okay. At some point, but yeah. It, you, you got to, there, there's a balance. You can find the balance, but a balance. in order to get where you're going, that there's no balance. If you, if you want to sell at Mass Square Garden, there's if you no want to sell at the forum, there's no balance. So if getting to Mass Square Garden and doing the forum and selling out every show is the goal, that's fine. And I do your thing. But as far as it, it, it's impossible, it doesn't exist. There's no way to do that and be a full time dad. It's impossible. Uh, I had a, somebody yeah. I really respect who hardest job there is. They, they did a they did a poll recently where they were like, "What are the most dangerous jobs?" Number th you want to get like, do you want to guess what number three was? Be uh, be something. Be what is firefighters? Firefighters. Firefighters. Fire, fire, yeah. yeah. Number two were the guys be, that be beehive. Uh, what are the operator? What are the people they're called? Uh, beekeepers. Beekeepers. There we go. Beekeepers, very dangerous job. Yeah. But it wasn't number two because number two were the people that catch the alligators, alligator uh -oh. tamers. Well, you know, beekeepers, honorable mention. Yeah. And I'm going to go back. I didn't do four or five. Four was like loggers. You know, they oh, yeah. sometimes, and you know, trees, they don't, they don't fall very but, fast, right? No, you trees. Can see, but it's still, that's why it's under cops. It's crazy how people get paralyzed from trees because they fucking take forever to fall. Insane. Yeah, <laughs> dude. It's like, and you're just still, yeah. you're still like waiting. There's, what are we doing here? It's like, well, let me do some taxes really quick. So like, what? What? Where am I? And then you still have time to go. And then you fucking, what imagine being ass. that guy. <laughs> Wouldn't be me. Couldn't you know. be me. There's you have a choice. You have a choice. You have a choice. You have a fucking you have a choice. choice. Yeah. And then five, <laughs> five were, um, uh, those like sh the people on the boats that catch the crab, yeah. deep sea fishermen or whatever. <clears throat> Not as hard as number one, dude. Number one, dude. And I was actually kind of surprised by this, mm -hmm. but I shouldn't have been because it's being a little bit of a dug. Yeah. Stand up comedian. Yep. It's just the most hardest job there is. A million and 38, 5,000 percent, dude. I mean, think about how many loggers, cops, alligator people, deep sea fishermen there are. Probably millions on each. They're avoiding stand up comedy because of how hard it is yeah, compared dude, to their job. Ask a deep sea fisherman. Yeah. Like, hey, would you would you try a set at the comedy store? He will look at you and be like, I would rather be in a fucking boat in the ocean. Yeah. When it's going mm -hmm. fucking waves and shit. I would rather be driving through a sinkhole. Yeah, this is shit. This is not <laughs> I'd rather be driving through a sinkhole. This is shit that you don't want to even fucking think yeah. about doing. You're not ready. Okay, you're a pedestrian. These are two murderers. And honestly, I mean, if you're gonna criticize either one of these guys. Uh, walk them, walk a few minutes in their moccasins first, yeah. right? You can't. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, put on good. some toe holds, dude. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> yeah, why? Yeah, I like. Let's see you in toe holds, dude. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> Ridiculous. Can't even afford them. You fucking no, pores. Five hundred dollar a piece. Yeah. Anyways, I uh, this is fucking the dumbest. <laughs> this is the dumbest I've seen T Fat K, dude. That's pretty dumb. Yeah. It's, dude, are you a stand-up comedian or not? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for any reason not to do stand-up. Yeah, just don't just, do it. Yeah, dude. if you don't want to do it, don't do it. They're like, I can't even see my kids anymore. It's just rough. Even if this was a reality, I would never go on a podcast and be like, oh, yeah, and all that stand-up I've been doing that I told you guys to come support me and be at my shows for has ruined my life uh, <laughs> indefinitely. My, my kid can't even look at me. Guess what, guys? Welcome to Hollywood. Yeah. All right. You yeah. signed up for this. Yeah. You want to be in movies and TV. Sometimes you're going to have to have uh, video calls with your kids. Sometimes I drive to go to Chipotle and I'm stuck in traffic for like three hours. Mm. I regret ever going to Chipotle, dude. That's three hours I could have spent with my little ones, dude. Yeah. Or your girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, when we're podcasting right now, I can't talk to my girl. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. So, you know, I, I will miss a lot of things, right? Mm hmm. Like her reading a book. Okay. Yeah. You know I what? I, I quit, dude. I quit the podcast. <laughs> now that you're putting it into perspective, dude, <laughs> fucking, I quit. Yeah. Like, you know, her being like, why don't you ever cook me food? Yeah. You've never cooked me a meal. And I'm like, I'm missing that. Well, you're really smart, dude, because you're actually another one that's rising up the ranks as yeah. far as like hardest jobs. Yeah. It just passed NASCAR driver. It right. just passed, uh, what's it called? Chef uh, streamer. <laughs> yeah. It just passed the sex worker. <laughs> <laughs> it's podcaster, dude. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, podcasting is fucking hard. Dude. Yeah, you dude. guys can't do this either. 
There's only a thousand that could do this. Yeah. I was going to say chef streamer because I said the cooking thing. It made me think of Chin. <laughs> chin cooks all the time. Yeah, condom fish eater. Condom fish eater. You mean like, are you going to make a <coughs> fish taste good that's been in the water with trash? Without a condom next A year? trash fish? <laughs> the 80? Yeah, that was the most redacted I've ever seen t K, dude. Just <laughs> do stand-up, dude. And also, at this day and age, you have FaceTime. You could be there... What you should be talking about is how you cheat on your fucking wife. Dude, that's probably what you're living with, dude, forever. That'd be spicy. Yeah. There's comics on the road that don't do that. <laughs> Shout out Gerardo, dude. <laughs> uh, all right, this one's posted by PP Stains in the front. Let's be clear. It's not stand-up. It's a crude dead pod that we're selling tickets for. So they've recently had a live show in Austin this last week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's... This is the funniest thing ever that they do. One night in Austin. What are they, us? Like, this is what we want to do. <laughs> we want to do one night... And they're just like, they're fucking, it's like, they've been doing this for what? 10 years or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's a lot. Let's see. Um, I, uh, this Thursday, one night, only one show, only me and Brian Callen. It's a live fire in the kid, not stand up. It's Brian Callen and myself doing a live fire in the kid with some special guests in the capital of comedy these days. That's yeah. Austin, Texas. We're at the Vulcan gas company theater. Oh, <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> that was good editing. Hell yeah. PP stains in the front, dude. Shout out to you. That was great. Uh, all right, let's go to the next one. PP stains in the front. This one's called fish talk. Let's see here. This should have a cat size fish. How big is it? Well, I have a catfish. You're talking about catfish. Direct? How big is it? No, I'm how saying it this is a, why, why real, do you, how big is, is your marijuana? You're kidding me. No, I have two of them. They're How like big is thing. the tank? I bought him when he was a baby like this. He like How this. How big is the tank? <laughs> Bring up marijuana. How big is he the He was tank? like this. He like this. You want to answer me? How big is the tank? 400 gallons. How big is that? Yeah, we don't know, bro. <laughs> How big your house? <laughs> How big is it? A- How big your house? It's not. His house is 300. No, it's, 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 it's as long as this table. A little longer than this table. Okay, so imagine. That's marijuana right oh there. Oh, my God. So that, see, that's me right there when I was younger. <laughs> that is so. That's stupid. That poor don't fish. Have that. That's it. No, he's thriving. Dude. How is he thriving? Well, well, like he's got a job. You know, he's talking about like. Yeah, yeah. He's got like a family. No, he has a four hundred one k. You know, he's crushing. No, it. you, you. That's the five. little space this poor fish has to live in. Poor fish. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's put him out in the wilderness where he's gonna get killed by a fucking mountain lion or whatever's out there eating these things mm-hmm. every day. It's called nature. <laughs> Yeah, or he can be he's, coddled he's, he's free. in a warm. He'd tank. rather swim free than die in a fucking tank. 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 This is Tank. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that does seem like kind of a waste to have that big of a tank in your house. Yeah. That's like a lot. That's, hu- that's huge. You would, I don't know. I guess, and also, he's he's always talking about how he has no time for things, you know, with his kids and stuff. But if you have little time, why would you get gigantic, hard-to-maintain fish tanks? Yeah. I don't know. Also, you want to talk about fish in the wild versus at home being coddled. What about yeah. a stand up in the wild, dude? Mm. I don't want this fucking great stand up comedian to be coddled at home, dude. Oh, Get on yeah. the fucking road. Yeah, yeah. Don't go where it's easy here where you just crush all the time. West Covina Laugh Factory Comedy Store where you're a monster, paid regular beast. Go out to where it's tough, man. Go to the tough shows. Make more fans. Go to Dublin, dude. They You did them wrong. What about that? Yeah. You, they were waiting for you in Europe, and you know you didn't go there. You could have opened a. Think of all the funny things you could have seen. What about the Irish accent? Yeah, right. I'm sure there's some, some sort of carne asada thing out there. You we got about. a lot of leprechauns in the crowd tonight. <laughs> What's the difference between Dublin and Los Angeles? Yeah, right. What's happened there? I mean, Shab's take on Ireland or Scotland would be great. Yeah, Shab is like the four leaf clover of the world. How so? He's just such a sight to behold, dude. He's a lucky guy. Mm-hmm. You know, he bet on himself and luck helped him out. Dude, he started stand up. He went to the top. Who else does that? It is kind of nuts that he was like the best UFC fighter and then just decided to do stand up on a whim. As I've said before, he's a renaissance man. Yeah, dude. He deserves it. Nobody else does. We put in the work. Yeah. Nobody, I mean, three, what does he did? Five hours a day? Remember we did the math? Oh, yeah. He did, dude. Five hours of comedy a day? Oh, you guys are doing minutes? I'm talking hours, B. That's crazy. Yeah. He dropped it at the fourth wall. They were like, oh, you could do six hours. I was thinking with the fish tank, what if the fish was swimming in rain? <laughs> Energy drink? Yeah, dude. The fish like never went to sleep. You can't sleep when you're a fish anyways. Yeah. 
Probably good for them to drink that shit. Dude. And it would be tasty when you bite that bitch, dude. Yeah, you'd be like eating a fish and then also you get energy from it. Dude, shout out to Rain, by the way. We forgot to plug Rain yeah. in here. Shout out yeah. Rain is always like, I'm drinking that shit all the time. Yeah, always. All right, this one's posted by Haphazard, dude. It's it's before the show. So, you know, we were, we're recording a day late because your boy was in Berkeley. Day late, a block short. Uh, this one's called Big Surprise. The special guest isn't Rogan. Let's see. <laughs> How excited are you for Austin, buddy? First live show together in a I'm hot second. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I talked to Rogan. I was oh, saying, yeah. yep, I talked to Rogan yesterday. We told him we're coming. And uh, Did he give you his approval? Because you can't go yes, to Austin indeed, without yes, him indeed. granting Well, we were you. just talking about... I, that's also part of just being honest being telling the truth is fucking hard I'm sorry yourself. so what do you say about Fern Kid live or uh, I said to him I just said hey this is all I'm going to say I said I said hey you're in the area oh, you be invited on stage him? I go uh -oh. I'm just saying I'm not saying I'm just <laughs> saying we're in the area you could stroll down he's like I don't know man I might be busy counting whatever he said the point I is, I gotta count my money Thursday night. He's at the mothership. It's a stroll. How how long of a drop walk is it? You could, you could, you could th throw a hush puppy across the street. It's something you could mm. throw a hush puppy in. Listen, it. dude. What a random choice. Who's throwing hush puppies, dude? I know. <laughs> eat a, you eat hush puppies, dude. Those are just as good as tater tots. You're only getting twelve, dude. With inflation, you're paying an X amount for twelve hush puppies. You're throwing one, daddy. Straight talk wireless hush puppies are like not at every restaurant. I I actually really do love them. You know, well, heard it good. both ways. I've seen you it know, at a lot of restaurants. Yeah. You do you like hush puppies? Oh, dude, I, the likeiest. Okay, so the next time you're in Arlington, Virginia, you got to go down. I do Josh Terry voice. The shout fish out, market. Shout, shout out. out to Josh Terry. You got to go down over the fish market, Old Town Alexandria. You order yourself a fish sandwich. Eat some hush puppies. But literally, those are the best hush puppies I've ever had in my life. And Real give good. my friend car battery down there at the fucking <laughs> winery a good little holler at. Or, or you can go to a pizza shop that just opened named Extreme Pizza <laughs> that this donk decided that that was a good idea to go to. Did oh, I go you, to No, it? actually, you didn't. I did fucking pain go to it. Jesus pain Christ. You turned into a joke, though. <laughs> you you just... said you thought about going to it. I accepted your joke as reality. My apologies. God damn it. I would dude. never even consider going the there. The thought that of going to a place called Extreme Pizza, dude, Jesus Christ. But you said on stage, you're like, I went there and they were closed. When I drove by Extreme Pizza, some of the lights were out. There was a f empty parking lot. And it. I'm just like, no, there's so many good places you could go. My joke was that I was like, what's extreme about this place? So I went the next day and mm -hmm. I went in. Uh, there was a bunch of stars of David. I was like, whoa, that's pretty extreme. Free Palestine, dude. That was a joke. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was like when they were open. Yeah. I, I, all right. I'm so <laughs> this native. This narrative was painted. Yeah, dude. Dude. I did go to Artichokes in Berkeley. It's apparently like amazing was pizza. It was pretty fucking bomb. Yeah. Okay. Artichokes. Well, let's check that out. Yeah. All let's right. see the rest of this. And I'm saying your two old buddies. Good old Brennan Schaub and Brian Callen on stage, cutting it up. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. We got some tricks over. up our sleeve. Don't think I'm not going to call sleeve. him. Don't think I'm not going to call him from the stage. <clears throat> we'll see. Yeah. Get some I'm tricks up our sleeve. The old yeah. Austin. We'll see what happens. We, we're, uh, either way, it's going to be exciting. We're going to be in Austin. I like that he did the voice when he was talking about Rogan. He come down. And they was like, maybe the funny will double up. They <laughs> know that that's R Rogan's weakness. Rogan's like, oh, I love the voice, dude. Jesus. Dude, that's that's so funny because what if that is really like a week, like the you know they play the guy that plays the the Pied Piper playing the flute. Joe Rogan, he hates these guys, but then when they do the voice, he's like, he's like in a trance. Oh fuck. I gotta hang out with Brendan again. I want to. We're going to Austin. <laughs> they, they're trying so hard. It does sound like kind of a a fucking. What is it uh, when you... A hypnosis. A hypnosis voice, kind of. A hypnotic voice. Yeah. <laughs> so just to catch you up on what actually happened. Uh, and also, this is like probably... I don't know why, but I just feel sad today, dude. This is like a sad episode. It's not a sad thing. It's I, a I sad just said thing, it for the dude. thing. Why, why do you say that? <laughs> I mean, we watched that first video and it was like, oh, it's like, you know, pretty accurate, right? And then this show, dude, they... Okay, so there's a comment in this comment section that yeah. says watch chin be the guest dude right <laughs> yeah that's hilarious and that's what it is uh and so for the show there's another post on chang's about what actually happened during the show yeah and apparently everyone backed out oh, their fuck. special guests Damn. and it was chin that came on stage and chin Damn. didn't even want to be on stage that'd be dope if they had you yeah i wish i would have been the special guest <laughs> how so, excited are you yeah anyways yeah. That, it's just that, that is sad dude right yeah 
I'll honestly, they don't watch us and we don't matter. It doesn't count. But if you guys ever need a special guest and you want to embrace Reddit, have me on. Dude. Have Gerardo on. The both of us, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I was trying to talk together. in the voice. <laughs> well, dude, we'll play ball too. I'm not even going to try to do anything silly, dude. No, I won't get douche you. I mean, I'll use every slang that they, that you guys have. Watch. Man. So check this out really quick. <laughs> Yeah. Text that to you. Yeah, dude. And yeah. then you got our phone numbers. You can hit us up with anything you want, yeah, dude. Fucking anytime, seven times a week. I mean, honestly, we've talked about this before. You guys only said boner alert once. That's going to be the main topic of discussion. You guys got to use that at least once a week. Yeah, dude. dude. If we don't, if I leave there and we haven't talked about digs, I'm going to fucking kill myself. <laughs> 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 oh my god your boy's getting over a fucking uh, flu yeah that's okay um all right let's go to this one dude this is the thousand k grand has been downsized to just 250 thank them posted by a thick boy with three c's let's see here is one of the critical things about our occupation is that we're constantly surrounded by people like us like we're all kind of very like-minded animals and we have uh, an appreciation for each other that is very different than most occup- occupations you know i have like a reverence for like elite professional comedians like i'll do anything me for too you. yeah that's how i feel i feel like we're all in like a very sacred tribe of there's only like i always say there's probably a thousand of us on planet earth yeah. if we're really if we're really being kind and generous and and giving people like a great amount of curve the reality is it's probably about 250 that I would want to hang out with <laughs> that I would, I would say is, are legit. Right. It's a, it's a, it's a fortunate, <laughs> it's fortunate that we get to be part of this fraternity of comics We're who so are like, lucky, who are just very cool. Yeah. And, and luckily most of the people that I've wanted to meet have always ended up being pretty cool. That's nice. And if they're not, it, look, there's, a, there's exceptions. The but, exceptions I think existed in the TV world. <laughs> Joe Rogan's uh, podcast room is or Austin's comedy Wakanda. There's the tribe, and then when he dies, there's going to be like that thing where it's like, oh god, what? you know, like and they're like dancing and stuff, and they're like, I am the king or whatever, and they fight. They're like, who, who, and the fucking, mana, 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 who. Oh, Shab is Killmonger. <laughs> I don't know who Killmonger would be. Maybe it's Sam Morrill or we'll Andrew see. Schultz. Or it's, no, you know who it is, dude? It's fucking Norman, dude. Oh, so I guess I'm the king now. Oh, okay. All right, well, better get out your spear. <laughs> Black uh, Panther, huh? Curry Underwood. <laughs> <laughs> Black Panther. All right, let's see this one. This is posted by Pharrell 80s. It's called Claiming That He Got Tiger Thick Stoked, Stocked in Marine Bases Should Never Be Forgotten. Let's see here. Oh, you, no, I'm celebrating. Uh, Tiger Thick just got on uh, all m- Marine bases. It's a big deal. I right, just so, announced it. All right. Hoorah, so, bitch. Dude. So, yeah, Marines yeah, shouldn't be drunk. drunk. But <laughs> uh, while they're... Well, no, it's in their off time. No, 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 no it's while they're shooting. It's while they're shooting and invading. So, um... <laughs> hey, do you like freedom? I love freedom, dude. You're welcome. How much is freedom, though, right? Fifty nine ninety nine, and that's what it, <laughs> is that's that what it, it does. I it's, looked it up. It said eighty nine on some sites. We, I, well, it's 80, 89 everywhere. That's out of my control. And your boy fought tooth and nail to get it down to fifty nine ninety nine. Really? So now it is hey, fifty nine ninety nine. Starting April first. <laughs> Daddy got a new investor. So now it's less money. <laughs> your stupid fucking <laughs> whiskey is less money. Why? Ugh. So now it's less. Money. That's so much whiskey. That's yeah. so much whiskey, <laughs> dude. Whiskey and rain. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good mixer. It's hard to tell, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> it's hard to tell which, uh, like, what, how much consistency of what is in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God, dude. This is a sad week at Chang's, dude. Just, it's all just like hitting the feels this week, dude, you know? I'm doing all right. I mean, I'm feeling good. That's because you don't it. feel anything, dude. That's right. I mean, I'm, I've taken so much kratom that I don't really have those kind of emotions anymore. Yeah. Which I'm, you know, I don't need them. Dude, what goes first, your legs or your dick, right? You don't even know. You're willing to find out. I mean, I got, I got kratom everywhere, dude. If my dick, like, I feel the kratom in my dick and my legs. Yeah. You know? It starts turning into a hippo with a smile on it. I mean, if, uh, I, I guess it's kind of like a hippo. Cause it's, it's so big. big. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. This one's called Chris is right. Sometimes posted by haphazard. Yeah. Let's see. 
America. You guys aren't truck guys, but he has some filthy trucks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You guys don't care. Nah, all of that, I'm honestly, is so boring. <laughs> Post Malone's cool. I like him a lot. But talking about Post Malone's uh, truck guy. But we have similar trucks. Well, yeah, no? but we don't, right? We, Eric and I, we don't. <laughs> but I'm trying to get you guys out of your pussy phase. I do. I would like to have a truck. I don't want a truck. <laughs> I would. I would like to have a truck. Uh. But if you had a truck, you wouldn't be on. At least I'd keep mine upright. You would, yeah, you would be on <gasps> sand. Hey! <laughs> Too Wait. soon, bro. Wait, with no seatbelt on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have my seatbelt yeah, on. Yeah, he had it on. He wouldn't be I here. Had it it, this podcast would be ours. I took it off. <laughs> this podcast would be in you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's right uh, about, uh, you know, the truck stuff is ridiculous. Yes. I agree. Yes. But, you know, it's Brennan's thing. The most annoying thing about that was a, that weird laugh that Brennan did. Yeah. I don't know why he did that. Well, I don't know. Uh, I've talked about this at length before. I don't know why he does the phases he does. Why? They're weird. Yeah, that's right. We were talking about that during Toontown when he's like, he keeps those and he, it's almost like he asks for, yeah, why? Does he think that that's like really funny? Maybe. Crop out the uggos, dude. Yeah, you're the guy that said that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe listen to your wife, dude. Listen to your mess again. Uh, All right, we got one here. It's called One of the Thousand Murders. Out in the streets, posted by OK Estate nine five four two, and the caption says, "Can someone please help me find Bobby Lee's NPC burner account? Because I've never seen him go live." <laughs> this is pretty funny. Have you seen this? No. Okay, I have a feeling that that's going to get gadooshed. So let's. Unmute it and play uh, it. Right. Yeah. What do you think, dude? This I is mean, NPC live. Like I was saying, this is the hardest job that there is, dude. Sometimes you have to debase yourself <laughs> to be a murderer, to be one of the best, the ones that do it. You got to fucking have no fear. I will not let you slander Bobby Lee's name, dude. You got to you gotta film yourself in the street sometimes, man. He is hilarious, and this is hilarious, dude. I'm Yeah, no, I'm just saying. You got to do it. I'm sure it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see the actual video. If I saw it, I'm sure I'd be laughing. <laughs> but, um, you know, this uh, you have to commit to the bit fully. Oh, I haven't seen the actual video it. either. I've only seen that. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking funny, dude. Yeah, it is funny. Why are you in the middle of the street doing that? <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. It is genius. <laughs> I want to see the actual thing to know how funny it is, though. Yeah. Because right now I'm just seeing a guy in the middle of the street filming himself. Why doesn't he have someone doing it? It's <laughs> comedy, but it's dude. It's good. It's good. You wouldn't understand comedy, dude. You're That's right, why. dude. Yeah. I don't. I'm not one of the thousand that can do it. Yeah, you're looking. You're over here trying to have a good relationship with your kids and shit. <laughs> That's I know. Not I always want to see my kids play t-ball, dude. Yeah, dude. That's all I'm in it for. All right, so this one's uh, the last one for the day. We had to leave it off with some chin cooking stuff, dude. Sure. This oh. is very funny. It's posted by Odo loves Kira. Chin flying home from Austin. Worst pain your life. <laughs> It's Delta flight makes a U-turn after maggots fall on passenger <laughs> from a bag of rotting fish. <laughs> Hilarious, it could dude. Could be, dude. Absolutely could be Chin. Yeah. I mean, if any, if there are maggots in any food, it's probably something that Chin cooked. It's definitely the fucking condom fish, dude. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, no, it's good. We'll just put it in a bag and put it on the plane. We'll get there. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we got for today, right? Mm -hmm. Check out our Patreon. Check out our Reddit. Check out our Discord. Check us out online. Have a great week. Bye.